see the open box of the DJI IOC Mark II. Here you can see the very beautiful black box here. It's the DJI IOC Mark II's main body. Uh, you can see a lot of port on it. Uh, it supplies with two data cable using IOC with uh, WCAM with GPS or without GPS. And this one is for using it with GPS. Uh, you can plug this 4-pin plug on either port on SD for better arrangement. Uh, you can see here is the battery port connecting with the two XT60 plug here. And also you can see here is the AV in 1, 2, here's the power and the ground here. Uh, okay, uh, so let's, uh, let's see here. Here is the has of uh, AV out port. And also it has the UARD control, battery positive and negative, and AV in uh, grounding. Uh, here you can see a switch, a small port here, switching port. You can use this switch to change the transmitter channel and also switch the cameras, uh, camera 1 and camera 2 on iOS D. Here is a small USB port. You can use this port to update the new firmware and also change parameters on the iOS D. Very, very easy to use. Okay, it supplies with uh, some uh, cables. Okay, this one, the data cable, and another data cable. And this one is the AV in cable uh, to use with the Zemuse gimbal. Oh, here, uh, here is also a AV in, some AV in cable. Uh, this one is the switch cable connecting to switching port here uh, with two with two pins, and uh, this one is the another AV in cable to link the IOC with uh, camera one and camera two. Okay, here is the uh, AV out cable to directly connect to the transmitter from DJI. Um, and uh, here we can see another AV out cable to link the IOSD with non-DJI brand uh, transmitters.